This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... It's the space bee of doom. Be my pretty baby. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I was doing my daily due diligence, pulling down the footage from the NASA satellites, and I noticed something odd. A Mysterio Ahead HI2 camera. The satellite seemed to do a barrel roll, as it does time to time, which either means that it got hit by an asteroid, or they're spinning it around the universe to take a look at different things. Now I noticed the letter B. That's right. You see it? Okay, I'll slow it down, and then I'll freeze frame it for you. The letter B. And there is nothing more ominous and gloomy and horrifying than the letter B. Now you might be just saying, hey, this is a glitch. Somebody punched in a B on their typewriter and left it up there accidentally. And that is where I correct you, sir. This is not the first time the B has made an appearance. As a matter of fact, in 2011, the B went all the way across the frame in the Lasco. So apparently it's on our ecliptic. So my question is, what is the B? What does the B stand for? Does it stand for banana? Does it stand for ball? What about boy? What about bell? What about boat? What about bat? Man, those pictures would be cooler if they were colored. Wow, it's like magic, magic, magic. Maybe it stands for Billy Tripp's balls. A choose your own adventure. Balls deep? Nah, that's not what he had in mind. Wow. Maybe it means bioluminescence? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I guess at the end of the day, who gives a shit, really? Binary twin? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Venus. Pluto, Ceres, Hun, man, yeah, man, why do no planets have the word B in them? Yeah, weird, eh? Bomb, butterfly, blue, Byron bottom? The hell is that? Budgie, blank up, bye blue, bye bye, boo hoo, bunny bump, Bradley, beaver, bird, books, brush, bow. I don't know if I can finish this video. I can't keep up with all the words. Let's start with the letter B. Well, if we never figure it out, I guess I'll meet you at Khaleesi 581D. Where are my dragons, Khaleesi? All right, I'm gonna guess Formal Hot B. I don't be fooled by the vacation picture. I'm sure it's a lot more evil than that. Space boobies, space buns, space ball. Formal Hot, stop popping up on my screen. You are scaring me. Formal hot B. The evil solar system. The solar system of Sauron. Formal hot. By far the evilest of stars and planets that we know of. Just because it looks like Sauron. Pretty much the most tried and tested way to find out if somebody is truly evil. They've been using this method for like hundreds of years. And it always works. It's flawless. You just walk up to somebody and say, Hey dude, how do you feel about formal hot B? And if they say they like it or they love it, then that means A, they're evil, and B, uh, you should run. You should run really fast. And if somehow you've impregnated them, you should invent a time machine, go back in time, and use some protection, bro. Come on, what were you thinking? Why are you making love to Foma Hot B lover, man? That is an evil planet solar system if there ever was one. Who knows, maybe they'll come visit us soon. Maybe they're already here. Beaver, beak, bicycle, bike, bed. You can have the future, you stupid bicycle. Or maybe it's science's favorite. Bicycle beaver. Oh, also, when I was going through footage, and apparently there is a large pile of stuff that flew by there your head. So look at those, I'm thinking that's a big pack of junk. Space debris, as they like to call it in fancy university land. Because it is noticeable in the exact same time, in multiple frames. Now, I tried to do the math and figure out when this pile of stuff would come around by Earth, but uh, I'm not that good at it, so. All right, worst episode ever. Hell yeah. Well, bring the tomato plants in and stock up on ranch-style beans and get an extra pack of smokes. Because I got a real serious feeling this bee is coming to bungee us all soon. Maybe it's going to buy us. Okay, worst video ever. Sweet. Be my pretty baby, be my pretty baby. Am I getting bit by something? Rawr, rawr. Bugazi. Boo boo. Kellogg Brand Root. Yeah, trip across a collision, colossal of planets. Might be the reason that Brown Dwarf 2M1207B 
which was originally photographed in 2004, orbiting a brown dwarf. It's pretty fascinating, huh? Isn't that the first time the first year we found one? But it's way hotter than it should be, kind of like me. Don't worry, man, we're from the internet. And when I say we, I mean I. But I'm so badass, it's like I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lightsabers. It's like I got ten lightsabers. Hey, those kids look like the sun. The sun were easy to punch around. A is for Apple, B is for Bluetooth, C is for chat, D is for download, E is for email, F is for Facebook, G is for Google, H is for Hewlett Packard. The hell is I for? iPhone. I is for iPhone, J is for Java. H is for Hewlett Packard, I is for iPhone, J is for Java, K is for Kingston, L is for laptop, M is for messenger, N is for Nero. Hell no, Nero. That's where I draw the line. All historians agree. Nero was a dick. Halt's on the bean, a bean's on the griddle. Ain't mean nothing if I got no Skittles. Or maybe it's science's favorite. FOMO hot. Bicycle beaver. Oh, also, you can have the future, you stupid bicycle. Be my pretty baby.